In this video, we're going to explore some of the new capabilities inside of version 8 of power surfacing. So uh, here's an interesting problem. I want to blend between these two shapes. And in the past, we would have to have basically one sub D edge for every edge down here, but that's no longer the case. Uh, so I have, if the edges are tangent and smooth, we can put a single sub D edge across here or like a partial edge. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So we're going to delete the top face, delete the bottom face. Then we are going to align things up. Pretty close anyways. Maybe a little bit more. I'm trying to get those vertices kind of right inside here, inside the edges. Um, So let's move that a little bit that way and a little bit this way. So those vertices come pretty close to those edges there. And here, let's move that one a little bit that way and then maybe rotate a little bit. Okay, so we're going to put these vertices are going to go right in those edges. And then up top, we're going to make it so these vertices kind of fall somewhere like in the in here. Maybe a little bit more that way. All right, let's grab them grab the surfaces we're going to need by importing a reference. Okay, get those surfaces in. So now we can reference them and, and assign things to them. So let's just for the fun of it, just hide these two for now. Okay, so we can see what we have here. Um, normally what we would have to do in a corner like this where there are two vertices, so this is a separate surface from this and then this. Normally what we would have to do is we would have to put an edge along like this and maybe like that and then go like down here, like this, down here like that, and say two vertex, two vertex, and so on, and then two edge with the rest of these. So something like, and then two edge, and get something like that. That's what we normally would have to do in the previous version. Uh, because if you did not put this vertex on here, let me remove it. Um, if this vertex was somewhere along this edge, even though it looks fine here, it's going to mess up. So it doesn't, you know, it, in previous versions it would mess up here. Uh, you don't see it messing up now because of the new software. So let me back back that stuff off. All right. Okay, now 
now we're going to take these vertices Instead of saying two vertex, we're going to say two edge. You don't see much happening there, but when you do this, you'll see things happening. Okay, so we got those set up. Now, things look really bad so far. <laughs> uh, but then we're going to do a two edge on these. And if we go up a couple subdivisions, see it looks pretty okay. Um, I suspect that we don't quite have enough unless we went to super fine subdivision. Let's try it in the default and see if it sews. And I don't think it will. Um, and sew it. My guess is that it won't sew. But I could be wrong. <laughs> um, I could be wrong about it not sewing. <laughs> Obviously I was. Um, so let's go back here and so you see that that does a pretty darn good job of blending between those two shapes. And I think it would probably be a good idea if we inserted an edge right here. And inserted another edge right here. So I'm just double clipping on that and then right, oops, sorry. Let's, okay, let's go hide these guys again. Make things easier to pick. Okay, so if I double click here, double click here. Yeah, I got those two, so I'm just gonna insert a loop. That would just split that edge. Um, that might be a little better because then it equalizes this distance here and also it splits this edge. So we could do adjustments here if we need to. Um, you know, now that we have that split, we could, we could certainly move this back a little bit. Okay, let's do them both at the same time, however. Uh, we could move those back a little bit more to, to right where the, uh, the surface gets split. But we don't have to. Okay. But when you move those things like that, it, it kind of helps control what's going on. Um, go for subdivisions, make it look a little smoother. Now, we can change kind of the strengths of the blends as well. For example, let's go here. And let's say we wanted this to go up a little further and to be a little stronger. Um, can make that happen that way. And then on this one, override the constraint here, and we could weaken this one a little bit. Oops, went the wrong way. So we can kind of control the strengths of the blends on either ends. Very, very nice blend there. We could do some even more interesting stuff. We could say offset loops.
maybe that's good. And let's make that a hard edge. Pull it out a little bit because it looks really bad there. <laughs> On the corners, it looks pretty bad. smooth again. Make those vertices smooth. And maybe we could just extrude this. Let's see if that converts. Sews. Indeed it does. So you could hook another pipe in there or whatever you want. So it really has made blending, especially between smooth things, much easier. Now let's say we go back here. Let's edit this original one and, and break it. And I want to change this radius right here. And let's do this. Okay. So now we have a chamfer coming across this end instead. So let's let's see what this does. Yeah. So that's getting real ugly now. So let's let's go in and fix it. Okay, so we were lucky enough that it did pull that pull that new surface in there. So what we would have to do to fix this, let's go into this mode here, is we would need a hard edge. Let's see if I let's see if we can do this. edge there and let's insert an edge here two vertex two vertex and let's subdivide okay good good now I can take this guy and say two edge All right so now we've been able to blend from an edge up to a vertex and I suspect that we should make this a crease. Let's try this. This one smooth, this one smooth. I think these creases, these go to... Yes, we can. And it sewed it all in nicely. Um. And you know, I love how this transitions. Uh, that was something that we've added in 8.0 as well, is that now we can transition from a hard edge to a smooth edge, and it's just real flat at that transition. So it kind of transitions from here 
and gets real flat right up there. And so those, those we did have, have them in there in the last sort of update of 7.0, but that is officially a, um, a feature of 8.0 as well. All right, hopefully this uh, gives you some ideas of how to um, use 8.0 in blending between SolidWorks things. Thank you. Bye-bye. Enjoy power surfacing.